Thanks, Ryan. So I'm going to step in a scale. Uh, Ryan's been talking about all these broad events, and uh, I'm going to try and work out where they fit on the map uh, with a, a bit of a spiel on depth abasement and, uh, and that sort of thing as well. So uh, Ryan has introduced names like the Tulgana Super Suite, Underwidgey Super Suite, Mudini, and that sort of thing. Uh, so where they, where they plot on the map, uh, Tulgana Super Suite, which is the, the 1600 event, plots through this region here. Uh, 1500 out to the west and down at Malaby. Uh, Mudini Super Suite, we see in this big belt, cross-cutting everything on a, on a northeasterly trend. Uh, and that, that looks to cross-cut most things that it intrudes. So cross-cutting the major structural grain. Uh, and the Mafix, which Ryan's talked about, the 860-800 type ages down in the, in the southwestern corner. And also found in Malaby 1 as well. I uh, should also mention that there are another phase of volcanics, which are a fair bit younger, but outcrop just north of the uh, aeromagnetic, aeromagnetic survey that we have recently conducted. So depth abasement, I guess, is a fundamental question for uh, new exploration in this area. Uh, I will say, start with it, it is very unconstrained. Only the dots that you see on the screen, uh, that's the only reference points that we have, really. Uh, so it's pretty clear that we've got a, a basement high, shallow, less than 300 to 500 meters of cover down in this southwestern western corner and gradually or potentially sharply uh, increases to the north and to the east as well. So we've got a constraint on the seismic line which puts around about 11, 1100 meters of cover on top of basement and 1300 meters down at Malaby 1. Uh, we don't know a huge amount about this, uh, I guess, margin of the officer, which coincides with this drop off. We don't know whether that's uh, a gradual on lap or whether that's, uh, I guess, a sharp thickening at, at a horse block where the, where the basement is, is high. So that will be something to test with the seismic line, although the edge of the officer comes in somewhere over here, so it will be a bit of extrapolation to find out more about that margin. So that's uh, an approximate map of where the officer overlies this region and is, is pretty thick. So we're talking two, two and a half k's up to the north. And we've also got the, the Denman Basin, which again is, is quite thick down in the uh, southeast of, of this area, uh, mostly seen in, in Malibu 1 and I guess offshore as well. So. The Kumpana Aeromatic, Aeromagnetic Survey uh, was done last year and we've written a couple of articles in the Mises Journal sort of detailing survey specifications and that sort of thing uh, and providing a, a preliminary interp which I'll talk a bit about now. So yeah, that's accessible in the Mises Journal and from the website. So the sparkly new magnetic imagery quite pretty, uh, covers quite a large area at 400 meter spacing, which is this larger box and 200 meters uh, in this small infill area over the Kumpana anomaly and associated satellites. So we've merged that in with the regional data so we can uh, look at what's either side as well uh, in reasonable resolution as there are relatively high res surveys west of the border and uh, in the Gawler as well. So we've attempted to characterize the broad basement domains using the drill hole constraints, using the geochronology, uh, as well as the magnetic signature. And this is the sort of map that we've come up with. Uh, so we're thinking there's a domain up in the, in the northwest of 1500, the Underwidgee Super Suite, which tracks down through into Western Australia and that domain or area is intruded by the Mudini Super Suite, which is the 
1100 uh, ages as well. Uh, so the basement to the Campana, or the, the known basement, excluding the, the 1900 inferred event, uh, is found in drill holes up here, these two down here, and in a couple of these holes down here. So we're, there's really no constraint whatsoever on this far northern area or stepping out from the inferred margin of the Gawler, which we uh, detailed in the seismic line interpretation uh, of, the, of the western Gawler part. So, I mean, it's entirely possible that the Gawler extends further west and there's a margin that wraps through somewhere like that. That's possible, but we, we have really no constraint on that whatsoever. Uh, we can also identify a few different phases of, of volcanism and dike emplacement. So this north-northwest trending uh, set of dikes we think is associated with the approximately 860 Gairdner amateur, that sort of event that Ryan's discussed before. And it looks to be a possible younger sort of northwest trending set of dikes as well, which potentially uh, relate to the volcanics up north. And we've interpret, interpreted a possible uh, sort of southward extension of, of the outcropping volcanics as well, uh, just from the magnetic character that we see in those. So yeah, question marks here and here. Be uh, great to get some more constraints from, from those regions. So, sticking the seismic line on. I've chucked that on the bottom so we can get a pseudo 3D uh, sense of, of where these domains track. Uh, what's, what's quite clear is this belt of Mudini super sweet granites uh, corresponds really well to a, a bland zone in the seismic. So that, that'll make sense. All the broad domains that we identifying in the magnetics uh, associ are associated with something that makes sense in the seismic. So it, that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, we've also tracked this, this, what looks like a big shear zone or, or structure down from the, from the western edge of this area, down through into a, a series of anastomosing shear zones, which are obvious in the seismic with a really high, really strong reflectors and yeah, quite, quite a deformed area through here. So, yep, just to track these belts on, Underwidgey Mudini Super Suite out to the west, stepping back, Tulgana Super Suite, Mudini Super Suite, question mark, and then Gawla. So the, the Kumpana anomaly, which I, I guess is one of the big focuses of, of today, is uh, talking about what this is, where it is, what it might be, how the different units are uh, interrelated. So this big blue hole, which Clive will talk more about the magnetics and magnetization and the remnants and, and that sort of thing. So I'll, I'll leave that to him and uh, I'll talk about what we think the, the rock units are doing, the relationships there, and, and how they all fit together. So from the, I guess, the, the wider aeromagnetic picture, we track the edge of the Mudini Super Sweep belt going through there. So we've got those Mudini Super Sweep plutons all overlapping and intruding each other in this sort of section, and that looks to carry on all the way through across the Gawler margin and up to the Musgroves. Uh, and then on the southeastern side, we think this is part of the Tulgana Super Sweep, intersected in a couple of holes or possibly intersected in a couple of holes just to the south. Uh, and we think that the, the cause of the uh, large anomaly, which is the, the Kumpana anomaly, we think that sits underneath all of that. So that's intruding at depth. Clive will talk a bit more about depth estimates, but we think that's substantially beneath. Uh, but there are also these, these satellites or later stage intrusions which look to cross-cut everything. Uh, Cross-cut the main body itself, cross-cut the, the host, uh, and punch punch through that, which potentially means that some of these have come up to paleosurface at some point, possibly. Uh, and there looks to be 
uh, several generations of these, uh, the, it, circular bodies intruded by smaller scale pipes and, and that sort of thing. So uh, quite a complicated event, complicated uh, intrusive series. And how would this look in cross section? Uh, going southeast to northwest, it's got Malaby 1, it's 1500, uh, Greninic Nice, which possibly intrudes the Tulgana Super Suite, St. Peter Suite uh, type basement, uh, and then more of the, uh, more of the Underwiji Super Suite and Mudini Super Suite intrusions over here. So that's right on the western edge. We've got this big belt of overlapping, overlapping Mudini Super Suite plutons, which extends southwest to northeast. Uh, these look to intrude each other and overlap and yeah, quite, quite complex. And some of these are zoned intrusions as well, which is interesting. Uh, and tentatively putting the, the main body causing the Kumpana anomaly at depth down here with various pipes shooting through everything. Uh, and then Ryan's talked a bit about the basalts, the 860 uh, equivalent to, to Gardner and Beta volcanics. Uh, overlying basements in, in this area to the west it looks like those volcanics are directly overlying basement whereas where as when we go to the east it looks like there are sediments in between basement and volcanics and that's been identified in the Malibu one hole as well so you can tell by the amplitude of the magnetic signature you can tell there's something bland underneath uh, where, there's, where, there's, where they're not lying directly on basement. Uh, so yeah, that's what I've got to say. Uh, I'll hand over to Clive to talk more about the magnetics and remnants.